open. I give way to my right honourable friend. I thank my right honourable friend for giving way and being so generous in uh, interventions already today. Uh, He's quite right in what he says around uh, the challenges in Northern Ireland for people in Northern Ireland and not being able to get access at this budgetary time with the structures we're seeing and the problems we're seeing economically. And there's a, that's why it's so important we see Stormont back up and running. So would he agree with me that, bearing in mind, we all know, and as has been touched on already, why Stormont is not functioning at the moment, that it is imperative that the European Union see that the sense of feeling in Northern Ireland across the communities, and particularly in the unionist community, it's such the best thing we can see happen is the European Union, without him commenting on the detailed negotiations, that the European Union shows some flexibility to allow an agreement to be formed between the UK Government and the European Union that will facilitate Stormont being back up and running, especially in light of the 25th anniversary of the Good Friday Agreement being so close upon us. Yeah, I, I thank my right hon. Friend, the former Secretary of State, uh, for his wise words. Um, and I, I know because I was present in some of the meetings that he articulated those words directly to representatives of the European Commission when he was Secretary of State. And so he, he is completely right in what he says. 